This is Lesson 105 in Saxon Algebra 1 half, second edition. This lesson is powers with negative bases. Now this is one of those things you're going to really need to pay close attention to. It says evaluate and it gives us a couple of examples here. What is the difference in A and B? There is only one difference and that is the parentheses in A. That parentheses is going to make a lot of difference in our outcome. This is the reason. When we have the negative sign here with our base inside the parentheses, what this is telling us is that it is negative 3 times negative 3, which would give us an answer of positive 9. So in this case, we're going to say that this negative is protected. Okay, It's protected by the parentheses, so it's going to multiply right along with the 3 every time. In this case, this negative is not protected. So it is kind of sitting on the outside, and the only thing that is going to be squared is the 3. So here we have this negative, and then we have 3 times 3 which is 9, but then this is going to make it, this negative is going to come back and attach and make our answer negative 9. So you see that that parentheses right here in A makes a huge difference in the outcome of our answer. Now, let's try to evaluate in both of these if we have an actual value for A. All right, a squared, a is negative 2. Then we're going to say negative 2 times negative 2, which would be positive 4. Here, we've got the negative sign. We're going to put that there, but a is negative 2. So I'm going to put negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4 but then this negative is going to come back and make our answer negative 4. And it is going to be very important also that if you have especially a negative number that is um, going to be the value of a variable, that you put that in parentheses every time before you do your multiplication. Okay, this example said to simplify a squared minus AB squared minus B squared. And A is equal to negative 2, and B is equal to negative 3. So again, we've got to be very careful with our parentheses. So A squared is negative 2 squared, so that's, we're going to put the negative 2 in parentheses, which means negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. Here we have minus a, which is negative 2, and B, which is negative 3, and that negative 3 is going to be squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. But we have to bring this minus sign down, which in algebra is not a minus sign, it's a negative. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to bring this down. When we put negative 3 in for the value of B, we have negative 3 squared, which means negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. And then this is going to come back and make it negative 9. So what we're going to have here, when we put it all together, we've got positive 4 in the beginning. But then the opposite of negative 18 is positive 18. So we have 4 plus 18, which is 22. And then we have minus 9. So 22 minus 9 is equal to 13. Okay, let's do our practice problems. a squared b minus b. a is equal to negative 2. So I'm going to put negative 2, sorry, times negative 2 times b, which is negative 3, 
minus b, which is negative 3. I'm going to do my multiplication. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 minus negative 3, which really means plus 3. Negative 12 and positive 3 is equal to negative 9. Again, if you do not put each one of these in parentheses like I've done here, it's going to mess you up. In B, we have B squared minus A squared B. B is negative 3, so that means negative 3 squared minus A, which is negative 2 squared times B, which is negative 3. All right, let's write this out. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3 minus negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 3. All right, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And then this negative is going to be 9 minus negative 12. What that actually means is 9 plus 12 for a final answer of 21. Alright, good job guys. This is not really difficult if you will do what I say and put these in parentheses every time so that you know what to do with each negative sign. Alright, I'll see you next time for Lesson 106.